Okay, so the question I got was, how do I know if my character is standing on the ground or not? And I want to show a quick way to do that. So I started a brand new Unity project and um, dragged in these two little pictures. Um, and that's all that I brought in. So there, there's a lot of ways to do this, but this will be the most um, direct way to do it. So I'm going to drag this thing in um, and just make a ground out of it. So I'll scale it. Scale it up quite a bit. Um, doesn't need to look very good because um, all we're using it for is to check to see uh, uh, where our ground is. And we're going to drop this apple on it and know if the apple is on this ground or not. And continue to just stretch this out. Okay, so on our ground, I'm going to add a component, which is Physics 2D Box Collider. And you can see that this thing is not perfectly straight. So our collision boundary is going to be um, where this green box is. So if the apple falls over on this side, it might look like it's floating a little bit. Um, but that's okay because that's, um, as long as we understand why, it's no big deal. Um, okay, on my main camera, I'm going to change the color of it um, to white. Close to white. Okay, and then I'll drag my apple into the scene. It's a little small, so I'm going to scale the apple up a little bit. Um, and on the apple, I'm going to give it a uh, rigid body 2D, and I'm also going to add a component physics 2D. Oops, box collider 2D. Um, so yeah, all we've got in this scene is this ground thing that I, uh, I scaled way out, gave it a box collider 2D. Um, and then the apple has, I scaled it a little bit, and then I also gave it a rigid body 2D, um, which gives it gravity and weight. And then I gave it a box collider 2D, so it has something to collide with. Um, and so now when I hit the go button, we should see this thing um, fall and kind of rest here. And it looks like it's floating, but again, that's because this thing is up at an angle. And that's fine, we can deal with that. So what we want to do is uh, we want to know if this apple is currently on the ground or not. And, um, and, the, and so we're going to write the code to do that. And then also I'm going to add, if you hit the space bar, we're going to make this um, apple jump up in the air. But we're only going to allow the apple to jump up in the air if it's already resting on the ground. That way we can't just hit the space bar and make this thing bounce up in the air infinitely. So I'm going to come down here uh, in the bottom and right click create C sharp script. And I'll just call it apple. And I'm going to attach it to the apple. So I'm going to click on apple over here and then just drag it over there so that it's on top of it. And I'll open up apple. Okay, so we're going to override a few methods dealing with collisions. Um, so the first one will be void on collision enter 2D. And the um, Parameter is a collision 2D. We'll call it COL. And then the other one is going to be void on collision exit 2D. And that also takes in a collision 2D COL. So what happens is when we collide with an object um, the first time, as we collide with it, we will get a collision enter. And then when that collision ends, we will get a collision exit. So basically what we're going to try and figure out is when we hit this collision enter, so the time between we hit enter and the time between we hit exit is when we are actually colliding with the ground. And so that's when we are going to be on the ground. So I'm just going to make a little debug.log statement in here so we can see what it actually means. Uh, collision enter. And then I'm going to copy this one down here. Collision exit. And if I go back and run this, we will see when our little apple falls, we got collision enter, and that's it. We did not get an exit. Oops. And so now if I come back and um, I'm going to put in here inside of update, I'm going to add the code for the spacebar. So I'll say if input.get key down key code dot space and we'll say we're going to add a force um, so I'm just going to do this the quick way because 
the only reason I'm putting this code in is so that you can see when um, the object is sort of jumping um, how these functions behave down here. So I'll say, uh, so if somebody hits the space, uh, get key down, we will say get component, rigid body 2D, capital rigid. Dot add force, new vector two, and we just want to go up, so we'll say zero, two hundred, that, and if I save that and go back, we'll see we got collision enter when it first fell. Now when I hit space, we should see a collision um, exit when it takes off, and then we'll see another enter again when it falls. There's our exit. There's our enter. Right, so exit, enter. Um, and now what we want to do is actually, let me play this again. If I hit the space bar a million times, this thing just launches off into space. But if we only want to allow the player to jump when they're on the ground, we need to keep track of where we're at. So we're going to make a variable, a Boolean. So it'll say um, bool grounded equals false. And I'm setting it to false initially because the apple is in the air, so it's going to come down and crash. So when we enter our collision, we will say grounded equals true. And when we exit, we'll say grounded equals false because we're in the air. And then on this thing, we say if uh, somebody is pressing the space bar, we want to add one more check and say and we're grounded. That will allow us to only jump once. So let's see. Now we're down. I can only hit the space bar once. If I keep pounding on it every time it hits the ground, it'll jump up again. But um, without um, that code in there, this part, this grounded business, um, we could jump off into space. And I'm going to add one more thing in here just to clean it up a little bit. Um, I'm going to give this ground piece here a tag. So uh, I've got it selected. I'm going to come over here, um, add tag. We're going to create a new tag and call it ground. Uh, if I go back to it, then I can call it ground. And so since this script is attached to the apple, um, this col object here is the thing it's crashing into. And so since we're checking uh, and setting this grounded flag, we only want to do that if we're crashing into the ground. So I'll say if col.gameObject dot tag equals ground then we want to mess with this flag and then the same thing um, when we exit only if we're leaving collision with our ground um, because we want to be able to collide into other things and maybe do power-ups and stuff like that but when we're colliding with the ground that's when we're going to set these grounded flags and just to make sure that works Space still works. So that is one way to determine if you are on the ground.